whether it's creating a long-lasting, loving relationship, a physical challenge, reaching a career goal, creating financial freedom, whatever it may be, once you've decided what you want, success principle number three, then you've got to believe it's possible. Success principle number four. In this video, I'm gonna share with you why fake knee surgery and sugar pills is proving the power of belief, and also how scientific research is, is showing how your history might actually be holding you back from success, but also how to overcome that. I'll also share an exercise towards the end, which will help you believe it's possible. That's what this is all about, believing it's possible. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. G'day, it's Rowan here from Your Life Design, where we inspire breakthrough to a healthier, wealthier, better version of you, so you can design your life. Now, belief is a choice. It's simply something that you think over and over until you believe it. Tony Robbins has a great analogy about beliefs. He says that uh, an idea is a tabletop, and when you back up that idea with a whole bunch of either proof or assumptions, you might see something, you might hear something, you might uh, read something, whatever it may be, when you all these proofs come along, or maybe you make some assumptions, then all these proofs or assumptions come along and they add, uh, they act as kind of uh, legs for the table. And it's only when that table has a sufficient number of legs that it becomes a sturdy belief for that person. Now, Jack Canfield in his book, Success Principles, notes that scientists used to believe that people would react to a certain situation based on the information that just comes into our brains. These days, they're actually finding out that our brains respond to a certain situation or a scenario based on our previous experiences. Now, these previous experiences build up our expectations about what we anticipate to happen moving forward. Have you ever stepped onto a, an, an escalator or a travelator and it's not moving? You know, it's, someone's pushed the stop button or it's broken down or whatever. Have you noticed that when you step on it, you kind of lose your balance? It's a bit of a strange experience just for a split second. That's because your brain expects to have to adjust your balance. You know, you'd done it so many times before that your brain had built up an expectation about what you ha your, your body had to do once you step onto it. So these expectations actually act to build our beliefs, which then dictate our actions. For example, uh, no one's ever run the four minute mile before, it can't be humanly possible. Or no one's ever made a million dollars in a day from sales funnels, it can't be possible. So I'm sure you can see the importance of getting rid of limiting beliefs and filling your mind with positive expectations. I'm sure you heard, you've heard the expression before, once bitten, twice shy. Could this be one of the biggest reasons people give up on their dreams? They try something new, something to take them possibly one step closer to success, whatever success means for them. And then they suffer a setback, something happens. And then when it comes time to take that next step, they let their past experiences dictate their future actions. And they don't take the next step. They, they you know, crumble up and say, no, I've tried that, it didn't work out. It's sad, isn't it? Oh, I've tried that before, I'm not smart enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not good enough, etc., etc. This is why so many successful people talk about the concept of failing and failing forward and getting used to failing, getting back on the horse. Now, in my opinion, surfing is actually one of the hardest sports I have ever tried to learn and learnt. It's, it's, it's difficult because you're not surf fit when you first try, you haven't got the muscles. You, when you're trying to paddle out, you're getting barraged by all these waves that you're copping on the head. You don't really know what you're doing. It, it's a struggle to duck dive a wave. And then when it comes time to catch a wave, you're left with the crumbly, pretty average bits of the wave while the good guys are surfing on the, the good bit of the wave. And that crumbly bit is actually harder to surf on. Then in a session, you might only get, I don't know, two or three waves and you'll be lucky to stand up for 10 seconds of waves. So that's your 30 seconds to practice a sport. And that might be it for a week or a couple of weeks or a month or whatever it may be. It is such a hard sport to learn. Now I pioneered with it and I just kept going and kept going all through winter when my toes were getting numb and my fingers were going numb until one day it just clicked. And that's when you, you, you get it. To tie all of that back to Jack Canfield's book, Success Principles, and this chapter, uh, Success Principle Number Four, Believe It's Possible. 
So don't hold on to your past experiences or worse yet someone else's past experiences. Don't let those experiences or stories of other people's experiences hold you back. Don't get dumped by a few waves and, and then just ditch the board. You will inevitably face setbacks. You will inevitably face failures. You will inevitably suffer in some way because Every great success takes some sort of setback and it takes some sort of compromise. But you have to believe in the process, believe it's possible, believe the universe is on your side because whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I love it when science backs up self-development concepts or success principles. So neuropsychologists studying expectancy theory found that on, in, in our day-to-day -day lives, we are basically conditioning our brains on what to expect next, whether it happens that way or not. Now, because our brain learns what to expect next, we actually end up achieving exactly what we anticipate will happen. So that's why it's so incredibly important to think positively, but also to believe that anything or, or that whatever you're trying to achieve is possible. Once your brain is on side, then anything is possible. I'm sure you've heard people say before, you know, anything is possible, you can do anything. What is missing from that little sentence, anything is possible, is anything is possible so long as you believe it's possible. You're not gonna go creating that success in life in whatever aspect it may be if you think you're gonna fail. It just won't happen. Once your brain is on side, it is the best cheer squad for your success. So you've got to get that on side first. So what does fake knee surgery and sugar pills have to do with believing it's possible? The placebo effect. I love this. This is so interesting. So in Jack Canfield's book, he talks about a study that was undertaken with 180 patients who had osteoarthritis. These patients were either given fake surgery where they made incisions around the, the joints to kind of make it look like they had the real surgery, or the patients were given real surgery. Now the patients, the, the results are you know just amazing because the patients who didn't have the, their real surgery actually showed the same level of improvement as the people, um, the patients who did have the surgery. So it goes to show it was all in their mind and in their positive expectations about the improvement that they were um, perceived they were going to feel. A paper was published by Harvard University talking about how sugar pills, aka, aka placebos, um, have, have not only a positive mental impact, but a physical one too. So say you have a headache, you've got a headache, so you take a sugar pill, you know it's a sugar pill, take the sugar pill, you know, it's unlikely anything is gonna happen. If you go to a doctor, you tell the doctor your symptoms, the doctor gives you some pills and says, these are some painkillers, uh, when they're not, they're actually sugar pills. You go away, you have these painkillers with the expectation that it's gonna you know, get rid of your headache. Now, you've got a positive expectation about what you perceive is going to happen. Because of that positive expectation, your body actually has a physical change. Your body releases endorphins, which are, kind of like chemically similar to opiates, uh, in other words, morphine. So uh, you could actually uh, ha have reduced symptoms of headache because of these endorphins that are being released. So the point I'm trying to make here is, say you are going into something, you're taking an action with a positive expectation, your body is releasing these endorphins, you're starting to buzz, you're feeling alive, you're feeling great. Because of that, you're gonna be more open to opportunity, you're gonna be resonating at a higher level. You're gonna be thinking more clearly. You're gonna be, you know, you, you, your body is on your side. Do you think you are going to have more or less chance of succeeding at something if you've got all these positive mental and physical things working in your favor? Of course, you're gonna have way more success. So that's what this is all about. Positive expectations, helping you achieve and believing it's possible. So to wrap that up in a nice paper package with perfect bows and ribbons and bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff, your brain responds and takes action depending on what your expectations are. So expect success. Second of all, your body physically changes if you have positive expectations. So once you get your mind on side, your body will help you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. So as promised, an exercise for you. Think of, isolate that one 
thing that you really want to achieve, but you think it's a bit beyond your realm of possibility. For the next three weeks, 21 days, 21 days to make a habit, remember? For the next 21 days, when you wake up in the morning, I want you to take some deep breaths, have a tall glass of water, and spend just one minute, one minute every day doing some visualizations and some affirmations. Visualizing succeeding in that aspect of your life. Affirmations, talking them out to yourself so that in the morning, the first thing you are putting into your mind is planting the seeds of success. These affirmations might sound something like, I have a rich loving relationship with my partner who I love so much and my relationship gets better and better every single day. Or I will win that competition because I am more prepared than anyone else and I've been waiting for this moment my whole entire life. You know, something like that. Imagine thinking these sorts, sorts of thoughts first thing in the morning. How's that gonna fire you up and, and set your pace for the rest of the day? I hope you got something out of that. Believe it's possible. Have a terrific day. Talk soon, bye.